Dean, uh, two two draw here. Uh, what's your take on that one? I think we respect the point. Started really poor, um, and then we could have lost it in the end. Uh, phases in the game where you know we should have scored more goals when we were on top, and then they, like I say, they start really well. We start really poor, and they end really well. And uh, you know, um, force changes uh, once again through injury. So just like I say, you just got to respect the point. It was a bit of a nightmare start, as you mentioned, obviously losing Woodsy so early on and then conceding in the eighth minute. What did you make of the response from the lads? The response was unbelievable. You know, you look at, you look at um, to be fair to, to Marshall, he's playing he's playing there, he's playing with Cramp. And then you had um, Sam Beard with a busted lip. Like his, his lip's totally busted. And that was in the phase of the second goal when he was on the floor with a head injury with a referee don't stop it so we think both of the goals they scored are a little bit were a little bit hard done by because the first goal they scored he's about got about seven yards the wall seven yards don't get me wrong we shouldn't have took the free kick especially experienced player like Hall he should be saying no I'm not taking the free kick until you count out the yards and he, he gave an example of that in the second half Hawley where Tom the referee Hawley counted out ten yards and they were only seven yards away from the ball and he's meant to put the spray down so end of the day to talk about Tom the referee and then same again there's a head injury in the box and he don't stop the play uh, for, for, for Beardy but um, look all in all I thought our players gave, our, gave their all that's all we can ask of them um, and we've got too many players in the stands to be totally honest with your key players you, you touched on it there also, there was a few frustrating decisions made uh, throughout the game but the lads did, did well to, to stay composed and, and not let, not let it uh, get to them yeah, frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all frustrated. They probably might feel a bit frustrated because they missed a glorious head out in the last few minutes um, where they could have won the game. But look, you know, we're depleted today and the pl- our players have given their all. Our supporters backed us all the way, drove us forward. With the start we had and sort of the finish we had, you know, we have to respect the point. And we played some good stuff in between. F scored a great goal. Maz got a great goal because just before his goal, he missed an absolute sit off for Adam Murray at a header he should have scored. Just before half time, uh, Ben Everton Richards missed a sitter as well. Uh, for him, he should score because um, he's really good in the air. So, you know, and, and like I say, F was a ton of side. You've got to remember, Beardy played 90 minutes to the night and F played uh, in the England C game and F played that as well. So, all in all, it was a, patch, a patched up performance, but proud of the player's character. What, what, what did you make of the, uh, the, the the matches at whole in terms of, because it was quite end to end, and uh, did you feel like a point was a fair result? Well, really, we had no substitutions to shut the game down and make it, you know, we didn't have that type of player to shut the game down, defensive substitutions. Um, we didn't have enough players available to do that, so we just had to try to win the game ourselves. We cleared the ball a couple of times, sloppy, and we got in some good areas, you know, where we had our pace. Cox had a great opportunity with a 3v1 down the left-hand side late in the game, and we didn't make we didn't make due with that. We should have done better with that. Um, and obviously they went for it as well, so making the subs they made. So entertainment game, but typical to two teams, sort of mid-table teams for the division. Really. Uh, Efron did, did score a good goal. Was that the sort of performance you're expecting after giving the, giving him the, uh, the the captain's armband today? Absolutely, lead. leads by example. You know his training, his walk ethic, his professionalism. Always wants the ball, walks his socks off, puts his body on the line. He was absolutely clattered in a challenge there, where literally it was a leg breaking challenge. But their lads left the floor. He's lucky their lad got the ball. Um, you know, so he's just a brave player. And for me, they're leaders, proper leaders. And Efron's a leader, in my opinion. For such a young kid, he's got such a bright future in the game. I always, you know, you know, speak well of him because he's just a pleasure to walk with. Uh, Adam Barrett t- took his goal well, obviously after after missing the chance he had. And how important is he uh, is he going to be for us in the, in the final uh, few months of the season? Yeah, he's a poacher. That's what he does. He scores goals. He's a box player. You know, we've done well. Uh, he's done really well for us, Mass. He's been excellent. That's. You know, funny enough, I think he's had two goals chalked off as well. Um, that went to other players, they should have been his goals. So he's got more goals than what people think. So, good player, man, box player, smart, always going to get chances, and you've got key players like that out on the pitch. There's only one defeat in the last five uh, league games heading into Wrexham on Tuesday night. It's, it's, some, it's some good form to be taking into uh, a tough place to go, isn't it? I watched Wrexham Stockport earlier. Stand up, stand up, what a game. Mullen scored two goals, they were just outrageous. Um, and it was a great game, great advert for our division. And uh, yeah, two really good sides. So look, at the end of the day, it's going to be a really tough place to go. We'll go there with a game plan. We've got to see who's available to us now. We need our senior players to step up now. We need our senior players to step up and, and make themselves available for selection. That's so important. Um, we'll go there. With, like I say, we'll go there with a game plan. We'll see how everyone is come Monday morning, and then and go to Wrexham, which it, we are looking forward to it. You know what? Heavily underdogs. But let's see, can we come up with a plan to make sure we don't get beat?
What, what's the main thing you, th- you think we need to be working on between now and now and then um, after today's performance? Recovery of players. There's not a lot we can do really. Too many players in the treatment room. I know people probably think I'm harping on about it and making excuses, but I've never known that like it. Um, whether it's mentality. Uh, Adam Marriott seems to be able to do it at the age of 20. Uh, whether people are looking after themselves because the summer's coming soon. I don't know, you'd have to ask them individually. Um, but I don't like it. I'll be totally honest with you. Uh, I'm very frustrated by it. It angers me, to be honest with you. I want people like Efron who are leaders. And uh, you lead by example. You know, talk's cheap in this business. And uh, I just don't like too many players in that treatment room. And they've been in there all season. And just finally, what, what do you make of our home sports today? Yeah, great, brilliant. Delighted for them. I'm glad to see the entertaining game. I'm sorry for the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes, but, you know, our hands are a little bit tired, especially in the last 10 minutes. But the first 10 minutes, you know, young Woods, he's come off there, looks like it's a bad injury, so hopefully he's all right. And at the end of the day, they've stuck by us uh, through tick and tin. Like I said, we've got a bit of stability now. And um, we need to make sure we continue to sort of improve our performance levels, play our ways individually for themselves, start playing for the futures, to be totally honest with you, at the football club. Um, I just want to thank our supporters for sticking with us. Thanks for your time today. Cheers.